Please subscribe to our channel by pressing the subscribe button and hitting the bell icon and get all the latest video updates directly on your mobile phone. Welcome dear friends. Today we will be discussing all about the slope deflection method. Slope deflection method is one of the method of analysis of indeterminate structure. There are various methods of analysis of indeterminate structures like Canis method and all. Uh, but in this particular video we will be discussing all about the slope deflection method. So let's get started. So in the slope deflection method you have to remember two important formulas one is mab is equal to 2 ei by l into 2 theta a plus theta b minus 3 delta by l plus mfab mfab is the fixed end moment mba is equal to 2 ei by l 2 theta b plus theta a minus 3 delta by l plus mfba so now i will explain each and every terms okay so look at the diagram since the end a is fixed therefore the slope or the rotation at uh, a will be zero that is theta a will be zero and theta b and theta c are unknown hence we have to find them so all these terms will be very well understood only when we solve the problem so just to explain delta is nothing but the sinking if the beam settles or sinks it is nothing but the uh, we have to take it in delta and ea is the flexural rigidity and always remember that the, uh, at the fixed end uh, theta will be zero that is slope will be zero so look at the problem given here they have said in the question that analyze the continuous beam shown in the figure using slope deflection method draw the shear force diagram okay so the beam is like this a b c d or different points in the beams and the span a b is 4 meters span b c is 5 meter and span c d is 2 plus 4 6 meters and there's a point load 50 kilonewton between a and b there's a udl of 15 kilonewton per meter between b and c and there's a point load 80 kilonewton between c and d so here is the steps to solve using slope deflection equation firstly we have to find the fixed end moments after finding fixed end moments we have to use the slope deflection equations that we have already seen and later we will get the equations in in terms of theta a and theta b theta a and theta will be theta b will be unknown and we have to use the equilibrium conditions wherein we will get the value of theta a and theta b and later we can find the moments so to start with the fixed end moments firstly consider the first part of the beam that is a b so when we consider the part a b it is like this two ends are fixed and there's a point load which is acting at the center so there's a fixed end moment chart that is available in the description the link is available in the description see at the description there's a link go to that website and download the copy here as on the screen you are screen, uh, seeing these are the fixed end moments values for all the different cases if there is a point load if there is a udl and if there is a moment then these are the values of the fixed end moment so whichever type there is there you have to use it so now let's see the problem uh, between a and b there is a point load which is acting exactly at the center so according to this chart over here the value of mfab will be minus wl by 8 and mfba will be plus wl by 8 always remember whenever you come from left to right that is from a to b it will be negative and whenever you come from right to left it will be positive okay that is the sign convention so here w is 50 and l is 4 that is 2 plus 2 4 total span is 4 so minus wl by 8 implies that minus 50 into 4 by 8 so when you calculate it it comes to be around 20, minus 25 kilo newton meter and for mf ba for the right side analysis okay so as you can see here in the picture uh, it is plus wl by 8 okay it is the same in the positive numbering so it is 25 kilo newton meter so now finding the fixed end moment for ab portion is over now shift to bc now bc part there's a udl for a length of 5 meter 15 kilo newton per meter udl is there so in the fixed end moment chart you can see for a udl of w kilo newton per meter load for w uh, sorry for l length mfab is equal to minus wl square by 12 and mfba is equal to plus wl square by 12 using the same uh, we get to write here See, left to right means you have to take negative okay so minus w l square by 12 w is uh, given as 15 kilo newton per meter you can see here in the udl minus 15 uh, i mean minus is the sign here and udl w is 15 so 15 into l is 5 meter right so 5 square by 12 so when you calculate it 
it comes to be around minus 31.25 mf cb mf cb again it is positive right so plus wl square by 12 it is very simple okay so it's th plus 31.25 very simple now let's shift from mf bc to cd okay so cd again negative sign will be there without looking table we can say because from we are going from left to right whenever we are going from left to right minus sign will be there okay so you can see in the image that uh, for a um, if the point load is not at the center and the distance a from left side and b from right side then the formula is uh, minus w a b square by l square right so here um, i have written the same one and minus w is 80 kN, this is the point load into a a is the distance from the left end so 2 meter so 2 into b square b is the distance from the right end 4 4 square by total distance is 6 6 square 2 plus 4 is 6 6 square value is 71.11 kN meter now we have to find mf dc that is fixed end moment from d to c so it is plus w a square b by l square w is 80 80 into a square is 2 square into 4 by 6 square it comes to be around 35.56 kilonewton meter so these are the fixed end moments that we have found out just now mf a b b s b c c b c d d c for all the things you have found out the fixed end moment okay nextly use the slope deflection equation now to use slope deflection equation you have to remember one important thing that is fixed end at the fixed ends the rotation will be zero therefore the theta will be zero at the fixed end here fixed ends are two a and b therefore theta a will be zero and theta d will be zero okay and here in this case we have delta zero because no sinking in the slope deflection equation shown here since there is no settlement therefore delta will be zero hence we will neglect the term 3 delta by l so our slope deflection equation will be like mf ab is equal to 2 ea by l into 2 theta a plus theta b that's all plus mf ab that is we are neglecting the term 3 delta by l we are not writing 3 delta by l because delta is zero because sinking is zero Two e i by l into l is four. Okay, here in this case, l for a b l is four. The distance is four. Two e i by l into two theta a theta a zero as I said plus theta b and minus uh, three delta by l is not there here and plus mf ab that is the fixed end moment ab mf ab is minus 25 kilo newton meter therefore i am writing it as minus 25 directly and when i solve this mab so we got mab similarly we find mba mba is 2 ei by l again l is 4 l is ba l is 4 2 plus 2 4 2 theta a here theta a is b okay because we are considering from this one to this one okay theta starting okay that will be theta b so 2 theta b plus 0 0 because theta a is 0 right and again minus 3 delta by l is also not there and uh, plus mf b a mf b a is uh, we have already found it to be plus 25 so it is plus 25 so it will be e i theta b plus 25 m b a m b c so here m b c use the equation 2 e i by l 2 e i l will be phi right l will be phi 2 theta a theta a or the first one will be theta b so 2 theta b plus theta c okay plus theta c and the minus I mean the plus MF AB, so MF BC is uh, minus 31.25, so it is like that, minus 31.25. And again MCB, MCB we have the equation, and here you can see for MFCB condition, uh, 2 EI by L, L is phi, so phi, and 2 theta, first one is two, theta C, which since we are considering CB, so theta C, 2 theta C plus theta b minus 3 delta by l whereas delta is 0 since therefore 0 and uh, 
MFCB that is the fixed end uh, moment for CB is uh, plus 31.25 therefore on solving this we get it as uh, 0.8 EI theta C plus 0.4 EI theta B plus 31.25 now CB over now let's go to CD so again for MFCD we can see 2 EI by L L is uh, 2 plus 4 is equal to 6 so 2 EI by 6 into 2 theta C first one 2 theta C plus theta b that is second on theta d here and that is zero because it is fixed end minus c delta by l is also zero because delta is zero and uh, fixed end moment for cd is as you can see minus 71.11 therefore on solving we get it as 0.667 ea theta c minus 71.11 now we have to find the moment dc so mdc mdc is equal to 2 ei by l l is again 4 plus 2 6 uh, 2 theta a again theta a that's the first one is d so fixed end 0 so again directly we can write 0 plus theta c minus 3 delta by l is again 0 no sinking plus the fixed end moment is uh, 35.56 as you know on solving this we will get it as 0.333 ei theta c plus 35.56 so these are the moment value that we have got for M, A, B, B, A, B, C, C, B, C, D and D, C. But here you can see that the we have not arrived at the final value of the moment. The moment value is in unknown equations that is theta B and theta C. So to find theta B and theta C, we use equilibrium conditions. Okay, let's start with third step. Now use the equilibrium condition. M, B, A that is moment at B, A plus M, B, C will be zero the intermediate support see here you have to identify the intermediate support there are two intermediate supports one is b point another one is c point right b point and c point both are intermediate support so both moments that is mba plus mbc will be zero okay the sum mba plus mbc will be zero and again the same mcb plus mcd will be zero okay so mba is uh, ei theta b plus 25 okay plus mbc mbc what is mbc mbc we have got it as uh, 0 0.8 ei theta b plus 0.4 ei theta c minus 31.25 will be equal to zero solve this when you solve this 1.8 EI theta B plus 0.4 EI theta C is equal to 6.25 okay so this is the first condition now use the so mark it as 1 use MCB plus MCD equal to 0 0.8 EI theta C plus 0.4 EI theta B plus 31.25 okay plus what is mcd 0.667 ei theta c minus 71.11 so sum will be equal to zero solve this on solving you will get it as 0.4 ei theta b plus 1.467 EI theta C is equal to 39.86 so solve these two equations 1 and 2 on solving you will be getting theta B equals to minus 2.73 by EI okay and theta C will be equal to plus 27.91 divided by EI so now to find the final moment you have to substitute theta b and theta c value in the moment equation okay so i will show you now for m a b is equal to what we have got is 0.5 e i theta b minus 25 right we have got the value of uh, theta b as minus 2.73 by EI okay minus 25 so EI EI get cancelled the answer is 26.36 kilo newton meter so MAB you got 
Similarly, you have to do what you have to do is in all these equations M B A substitute theta B. In B C substitute theta B and theta C. In C B substitute theta C and theta B. All these equations you do that, and you get all the values of M A B M B A M B C M C B M C D M D C. All the moment values, and we have analyzed the beam, right? We have got the moment at all the individual supports. So this is what is analysis, okay? And this is by, we have done it by the slope deflection method. Okay, there are still more method in the further upcoming videos. So subscribe our channel for more interesting videos on civil engineering. Please do subscribe and please like the video. And if you found it interesting, please share it with uh, your friends and comment your opinion. Thank you.